Hi class, it's Mr. Falstrom and welcome to your video lesson on multiplying fractions using area models. Let's go ahead and take a look at our learning goal. And the learning goal in this video is pretty simple. We're just going to multiply fractions using an area model. No tricks up our sleeves here, just what we see is what we get. Okay, so here's, uh, we're going to do two examples and then you're going to have a couple quiz questions to check and see how well you understand. So our first example, we are going to show one half times one fourth using an area model. And before I start, I just wanted to re I just want to say that, um, I know that, um, many of you that are watching this, you already know the answer to one half times one fourth. This, this video is not, uh, math isn't always just about answers. It's about different ways to get to the answer. And so I fully understand that some of you already know the answer to this and you're kind of going, why do I need to, why do I need to draw a model? I already know the answer to this problem. Well, I'm showing you some simple problems first. Later on, we're going to do more complicated problems where we're going to multiply mixed numbers and you are going to have some test questions that are going to just show you a picture of a model and you're going to have to figure out what the problem, what problem the model is showing you. So even though you're thinking, Oh, this is easy. I don't need to understand the model. Unfortunately, that's not true. I've looked at some of the tests we're going to take and they're going to show you models and you're going to have to answer questions about the model. So, um, you know, please watch. Don't just focus on the answer, focus on, the process for how the how I make the model and how the model shows the answer. Okay. Okay, so to model one half times one fourth, we're gonna draw some number lines. The first number line is gonna be a horizontal one from left to right. Just like that, I'm gonna label it from zero to one whole. And now I'm gonna do a second number line, and this one's gonna go vertical up and down. So from zero to one, so I've got my two number lines and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just finish, I'm gonna end up drawing a square. So I've got my two number lines and then I've drawn the other two lines, I've made a square. And now I'm gonna, on each number line, on one number line I'm gonna show uh, where one fourth goes and on the other number line I'll show where one half goes because those are the two fractions that we're multiplying. And remember, um, one half times one fourth, another way of thinking about that would be asking yourself how much of one half, how much is one half of one fourth? Remember that time sign, the multiplication sign means the same thing as of. So how much is one half of a fourth piece? So let's go ahead and show where the fractions go on the number line. So um, I'll do one fourth first. So I've divided this top line into four equal parts. And right there would be where one fourth is. And now on the bottom line, I will divide it into halves. And that's where a half would go. And I will also um, kind of show that with a dashed line. And that right there, that represents that shaded area. That represents um, one half of a fourth piece. I've taken that fourth piece, I've cut it in half. Um, so if you look at the total whole, how many pieces are there now? If you just look at that whole square, how many rectangles have I broken it up into? And there are eight rectangles and one of them is shaded. So the name of that, you know, the name for that shaded piece would be one eighth. And that is the answer. One half times one fourth equals one eighth. And I'm showing you, I'm showing you that one eighth right there using the model. 
The second example we'll do is we're going to do two thirds times two fifths. And again, you might already be multiplying those fractions in your head and know what the answer is. That's great if you know what the answer is. I want to go over how to show you on how to show that using a model. So it's going to be the same process. Um, I'm going to start out, I'm going to draw a number line, label it from zero to one, and then I'll do a vertical one. Same thing, zero to one. And then I'm just going to um, make a square out of it. So just like the last time. And now on each number line, I'm going to figure, I'm going to take one number line, I'm going to divide it into thirds and show where two thirds goes. On the other number line, I'll divide it into fifths and show where two fifths goes. So um, how, much of, how much is two thirds of two fifths? Well, let's actually show that with, a, with this model. So I've divided this first line into thirds. There are three parts. Right there would be two thirds. And then on the bottom line, I'm going to divide that into fifths. And right there would be two fifths. And how much is two thirds of two fifths? It would be that shaded part right there. And if you just look at um, the, the total whole, you know, um, look how many total rectangles there are, how many pieces are there. Um, it's been broken into how many? And there are 15 total pieces in the whole. How many are shaded? There are four, which means that another name for that shaded area is four fifteenths. So how much is two thirds of two fifths? Four fifteenths. So that is the answer. Great. So you've had these two examples. Now it is going to be quiz time. So here we go. I've already got a model shown and drawn for you on this one. I want you to tell me what fraction problem am I showing you? What fraction multiplication problem is being shown right now by this model? What are the two fractions that are being multiplied? So look at where the red dots are and see if you can name those points. And the problem that's being shown is On the top number line, the one that's going up and down, we have one third. And then on the bottom one, we have three fourths. So the problem I'm showing you is one third times three fourths. Go ahead and solve that. How much is, what is the answer to one third times three fourths? And one third times three fourths is um, that much, which is three twelfths. Okay, one more. Same thing, what problem is being shown right here in this model? Name both uh, fractions on the number lines. Look at the red dots. What what fraction um, what fraction is uh, goes with each point? And the fractions that go there, uh, each line has been divided into two equal parts. So each fraction is showing one of the two equal parts. That's a half for each one. And so now we just need to solve solve it. Um, so we need to figure out how much is one half, what is how much is a half of a half piece? In other words, what's one half times one half? And the answer is one fourth. So this was a very short video. Um, thanks for watching. You rock. We'll do some more practice with this in class later on. Um, as always, if you don't understand something, ask me some questions. Um, I will try and give you some more practice with these in class, but otherwise, um, good job. Thanks for watching. Thanks for participating, and I'll see you around on the next video.